Right, morning guys, my name is Jerry from Wild Eye. This is the first of the Friday inserts that goes along with our weekly videos that can release on a Monday. Um, the idea with this is literally two or three minutes of photography ideas and tips for you to go and shoot for the weekend. The chats used to be on a Friday so people can take that information and play with it. We've moved it to a Monday so you've got something to do in the office. And so, this is just a short one for the weekend. For today, keep it simple. Right, we're going to look at composition. Forget all the technical this weekend when you go and shoot. I know there's a worldwide photo walk, so if you're shooting the photo walk, if you are shooting wildlife, landscapes, whatever you're doing, keep it simple. Forget about the technical, think of composition. Right, now the rule of thirds is this. There's a grid of, the screen is divided into uh, three, uh, two, three thirds, and on those lines, where they intersect, the dots on this next screen, um, that is where you place your subject. It's not just photography, it's art and everything all the way back. Now, that creates a bit more tension, a bit more drama, a more interesting image. So, example, look at this cheetah. Beautiful cheetah on a hill, and the focus point is the animal on that top third. More than that, if you're shooting a subject, make sure the face is on the top third area. Also notice the cheetah's got nice uh, empty space to look into, looking over the shoulder back. This doesn't only apply to wildlife. You can also uh, use this for when you're shooting people. This example here, Andrew shot of Adal now when we are in the Mara. Uh, look again where the faces are placed. If that was placed dead center, much more dead nullifies the image. Not there. Rule of thirds, stay on those, those power points. Uh, next example, you don't always have to have a clearly defined subject on that power point, on that rule of thirds power point. In this example, there's a bucket load of wildebeest. However, my focal point in all of that chaos is still one of the rule of thirds. It's where the most of them are uh, mixed up together, but it's also where they're going out. So it adds an interest to the image. If I just shot that randomly in the middle of the frame, not as interesting. All right. Um, there is, however, a time to break the rule. Now, the rule of thirds should have been called the guideline of thirds because we're going to change this and go as we go. Um, for example, look at this image. This is where I, I zoomed in tight on a lion's nose. There, I don't want you to be moving side to side on the image. My focus is dead center. So, then you place it in the middle, absolutely. Ignore the rule. Also, if you've got an animal walking or a bird flying directly at you, stick it in the middle for two reasons. Number one, your focus point is much sharper in the middle. And number two, well, three reasons then. Number two, you're not going to cut anything off should that subject move. But also, that movement towards you negates the need for the rule of thirds to be placed all over the show. Right, so there you go. This is the first one. Every Friday we'll do a short version like this. So, when you go this weekend, Look for composition. Use the rule of thirds. Forget everything else. Sometimes it's worth going back to basics. All right. Have a good one. Send me some of your images. We'll stick them up next week as an example. And I'll be back on Monday. Have a good one.